Hey guys, Britta here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019. Here we are for another episode in Ravenport, part number 18, I think. Um, so I did harvest this field, um, and I've since sold it. So I harvested this field here, and then I decided to sell it. We purchased this field. Um, total amount was, sure is it, um, 173,874 from harvest income from both of these fields. So I said I've harvested this one, went down and sold it all down to Port Grain Elevator resold it and then i've purchased this one because it's full of grass um, i'm going to collect all the grass hopefully sell that and then hopefully buy the biogas plant at least we'll have um somewhere to dump all the silage in that once we've created it still got it down over there um, ready to go well not ready to go but fermenting so i've leased the crone a big m450 which did cost us about thirty or thousand dollars but I feel like it's going to be worth it. Um, swath, swath dropping is fine. Turn it on. Don't have access to this land. We know that already. All right, so I'll head straight down here. What I'm going to do is go around the outside of the field because I can hire a worker to come back and finish mowing the entire field. So. I'll just mow up and down here. Like I said, then around the field. And um, we'll go from there. Keep saying we don't have access to this land, but we do. Well, part of it we do, not all of it. You can see we've mowed some of it, but missed a little bit as well. Alright, I'm going to lower it down again. I know I'm mowing part of the field, but I'm not too concerned about that. So, um, this thing is pretty cool. You can change the swathing to left side only, right side only, to just go absolutely everywhere, so no swathing at all. And um, have it like this, so it swaths straight down the center, which is what we want, because we um, want to come back and get it with a, with a trailer, hopefully. I don't know how much grass we'll get from this bit down the front here. Never seems to grow that well. So we've got grass and we don't have grass. It's kind of off and on a little bit. Alright, there we go. Fly down up this other end and we'll go around the other side. I don't know how much we're gonna grass we're gonna get out of these. Probably heaps. Um, I did lease another tractor. I bought a Voltra A, or lease a Voltra A, just to be able to do our little front loading stuff and um, like our harvesting stuff and that sort of thing. Uh, sorry, fertilizing stuff and that sort of thing. Um, it's back over here. I was going to try and get it to seed the sunflowers, but when I put the sunflower seeder on the back, it lifts the front up in the air, and now I can't put front weights on it because it's leased. You lease it as it is, you can't change it once you've leased it, so I'd have to go and cancel the lease and then release it and it's a bit of a pain so I'm not worrying about it. We've got our other guy up there working away, cultivating so he's probably a third of the way through the field. Hopefully it won't take him too long because I'm going to need him to use the loading wagon because the Vulture is nowhere near strong enough. I think it's 220 horsepower we need and the Vulture has got about 120 110 or something along those lines but the reason why I got the Vulture was just so we can do a little bit of that front loading stuff that we need we need done. And then um, anything else we can use the, the bigger tractor for. Alright, it's going to be a bit awkward mowing this bit, but it's all grass, it's all money in our pocket if we can pick it all up. Struggling a bit up the hill. Come on, buddy. Just about there. Probably won't get all of it. Okay, maybe it will. Thought I might have missed a little bit just because of um, the way that the ground was, but no, it seemed to cut it all perfectly fine. Go this way just to make sure we um, said square this field off, and that way we can hire a worker and he can come back and 
mow the inside of the field there while we come and collect the outside, hopefully. That, that was the plan that I had in mind. So we'll go straight through. Turn around. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to mow this way when we get to that hilly part. Mightn't like it too much. I wouldn't think it would anyway, because it's on such an angle. It does make short work of mowing this thing. A lot better than using the tractor, but the tractor did the job for the little bit of grass we had over there. I think I'd eventually like to uh, buy one of these and not lease it, but it's cost us thirty thousand something yeah I think it was exactly 30,000 to lease this thing so I'll try and get as much use out of it as we can in the first hour before we need to return it now leasing I do know for a fact is pretty common in, um, in real life actually for real life farmers they, they do lease a lot of machinery because they can't afford to you know buy everything so they do lease a fair bit um, someone I did see on YouTube last night actually the millennial farmer or MN millennial farmer uh, watch a little bit of his stuff it's actually pretty interesting does a lot of um, like GoPro footage of him um, harvesting and plowing and cultivating and seeding and all that sort of stuff so it was actually really cool to see and um, the few videos of his I did see they had um, one of those yellow tractors I can't remember what the challenger it was and I'm pretty sure it was leased. I don't think they actually owned it, but um, yeah, he definitely he enjoyed enjoyed the Challenger for sure. He um, used to have a John Deere, and he said he'll, he'll rate the um, Challenger a lot higher than the John Deere. So comfort-wise, and all the other sort of good stuff. Go straight down this way. A little bit around that tree we'll have to touch up, but... Shouldn't be too bad. There we go. Just going to go around... Oop, around the bottom here too. All the way around the field on the outside here. I don't know how much... Grass will actually get out of it, and it's probably not worth it. <laughs> Looking at that, but we had a bit more room, but obviously not. I might go back up the hill and then head back down the other side, but I think we're going to get heaps of grass out of this, which is going to be very good for us. I'm thinking we're going to have to collect the grass before we sell the field. I don't think it'll allow us to collect the grass after we've sold the field, so... I'll have to collect it all first and then move it, and I don't know if we can put it in the biogas plant before... We've, we actually own it, so that's another thing we're going to have to look at. You can definitely see the amount of grass we're going to get out of this. A huge amount. With the biogas, we've obviously got a fair few trees around it we can cut down and get rid of as well. So that's going to give us a bit more income and it's going to be much less travel than going all the way down to the south, down to the heating plant. And I'm not sure on the prices of the biogas plant. It's not here. But I do know that once you buy the biogas plant, it will, it will be there. The prices will be there. So I'd say it'll probably fluctuate and be a little bit different from the heating plant but at least we'll know what's what once we get to that stage it's a bit of a rough spot here try not to roll down the hill that'll be sketchy as sitting in the cab of that all that's going on 
There we go. There's bushes everywhere again. How's that guy going? Oh, he's not going very quick, actually. Our hired worker is pretty bloody slow. Have a look at it on the map. Um, right. Cultivate. Yeah, he's pretty slow. So I need him to be able to pull the trailer along. Actually, unless we can attach it to this, which I don't think we can. It'd be awesome if we could, but I don't think we can. Alright, so if we can get this done before an hour's finished, that'd be great, but I don't think we'll be able to. Not worth having to do the field as well. Straight down. Pretty rough sort of country through there. Still amazes me how the bushes stay behind. We know that we can get rid of them, but it's really, I don't think it makes that much, that much of a difference. We're still getting the same amount of grass out of it, I believe, so. Just looks a little bit better. A little bit too hard, we're kind of all over the shop through there. So there's plenty of grass up here, probably a lot more than I thought there was going to be. So I might try and grab that, um, the Vulture, the little tractor, and see. I don't. Definitely don't think it's got enough power. It needs 220 horsepower. And, um... Definitely... It's got nowhere near that. I mean, if it still works, I'll be happy, but I doubt that it will. What's going on there? It's like we're... Why is the front one in the air, but then the other ones aren't? What's going on here? Go down. There we go. That just not cut that whole bit. It's very strange. I did lift it up and put it back down, but obviously it didn't put the front one back down. A little bit different, but I think we'll probably run over most of it with the wheels anyway. Probably not getting the full yield out of that bit, unfortunately, because of that. pass I think turn around I don't know why anyone would buy that land anyway really there's not much you can do with it I don't think we'll get a lot of grass out of that either no not much at all that is, it's going to be a fair bit. Turn it back on, lower it down. Just H to hire a worker. Get out of his way. I'll actually jump in there and try and grab a half decent screenshot. So you're still doing your thing. Well, there you're there. So this is a little Vultra A that we brought. Now I'm 10 million, a thousand, 100 billion percent sure it won't pull this thing. Um, I know the truck will, but I don't know if the truck will actually allow it to work. Um, on there, there's a front end loader too. Got to tell you guys about. Um, just another thing that I picked up. 
Is it, is it going to work? Can't tell. Actually, it's got stuff in the back, so I need to tip that out first. Don't think. Oh, there it goes. Don't think it will. Tractor's revving really hard though. Really hard it's revving. We'll head down. Don't think it will work. Okay, um, cultivated. Beautiful. Now it's not revving as hard. Uh, we'll start here. I don't... Yeah, I'm not confident. It's pretty slow. It's only doing 10, 15 kilometers now. I think if we go downhill, it'll be all right. I don't even know what that does, to be honest. It's going to be a very, very slow process with this guy. Don't want to take the other guy off um, cultivating, though. Lift it up. So it's still... Struggling. So it was what I expected anyway, but I said I don't think we can use the um, truck to power. I know we can pull it along, but I don't think because it doesn't have a PTO, it shouldn't be able to power it. So you only just hammering through it, hammering through it. Head back up this way. Yeah, I think if we if we were to sell this land now, we wouldn't um, be able to come back and collect the grass. God, he's really struggling. Might have to take that guy off cultivating. Sixteen thousand liters though, so plenty of grass in it. Absolutely hammering through the field. Going terribly slow. Oops, wrong button. Might drop him back a little bit. Unlook him. So this is not powerful enough. Um, and I want you to stop before you roll all the way down the hill. That'll do. Um, that guy. So if we bring the truck over. I'll be able to look up to it, but it shouldn't turn on. I can near guarantee it won't turn on, but for the sake of it, we'll bring it down and have a look. Still got stuff laying all around the place. You're blocked by what? Ah, oh, well, a tractor. Okay. So we can lower it, but we can't turn it on, which is what I thought. Try and get out of his way. Jump out of there. Okay. 
definitely going to have to grab that other tractor, unfortunately. You, you, there we go. Alright. Stop there for now. So close to finishing, too. Oh well. Still got a little bit of room for movement. As far as money goes. Oh, there we go. We can still get up to 790. That's it. So if I needed to get another tractor, I could, but I really don't want to go leasing um, any more stuff, so. There we go. Way quicker already. I could probably go with like a forage harvester too, but I don't think, um, headers, these guys, that's corn, corn, um, it's grass, it's six meters wide, that just picks up grass, I think, those ones, oops, Missed a fair bit then. So that's another option, but I don't think it'll be worth it, really. Um, and what's this other guy? There's another... There's something we can use... That picks up things off the ground. I don't know, I can't remember what it was now. Not you, no, or a child, no. I don't know. Like where you could actually stick the, um, dump like the sugar beets and potatoes onto the ground and then come back and run over it with a machine. Which would pick it all up. So where the field is, you can tell, definitely tell the difference. It looks a lot better. So I don't know if... Plowing it and that makes a difference. The grass yield, I mean, we haven't got a great deal out of it, to be honest, compared to this other side. So it might make a difference. Just jump straight on this line. We've got another couple of runs to go, I'd say. Fifty six and a half thousand we take in the forage wagon. Ooh, I think our cows and that are still doing pretty good. Yeah, four thousand litres. They're all pretty good except for the total mix ration. But we'll get that fixed up once that silage is done. Plenty of hay and plenty of straw. We just need a lot more um, silage for the mixed ration, that sort of thing. Where's he going yet? Yeah, one more run. Should be full by the end of this run or close to it. It's like we're getting a lot more out of here than we were off the field. I think I'll test it over here. I don't think we can dump the grass on the ground on the spots that we don't own. So we go. No. So we can't dump it up at the BGA. We have to dump it over here somewhere for now and then pick it up and take it over there later. So what I'll do is. Yeah, we'll just sort of dump it along here, I think. We should be able to come back and pick it up reasonably easily. There we go. 
go. So we should be able to come back and pick it up. It's, it is in our land, so that's fine. It's what I kind of expected, that we wouldn't be able to dump it at the biogas. Because we don't have access to the land yet. Keep going straight down and jump on this line. Try and get around that corner. Left a little bit behind, but that's all right. Be able to get that next time. So we should definitely get another trailer load or two after this one. We're gonna have plenty of grass. So the way I see it is if we can um, get this done, then sell the field, buy the biogas plant, um, take all the grass up there, turn it all into silage, dump it all into there. We should hopefully make enough money to be able to buy this, buy this bit of land here. Probably eventually turn it into a different field because I'd like to get like you know field seven or field eight or even field six and twelve for grass for the biogas plant or something along those lines. So we don't have to sort of cart it quite as far. Uh, get up the hill, come on. head down and just finish off that little this little run here those couple of bits birds still birds everywhere Thirty thousand litres. Definitely the biggest forage wagon we can get. Um, how big is the biggest tipper trailer? Sixty thousand. I know we can probably put. I oh know we can't. Not in there. That's weird. We can in there though. Uh, it's just different wheels. That's it. Okay. Cool. Damn. Didn't miss too much, I suppose. Pretty rough sort of terrain on this side, but we can still if we can still pick it up decent. I mean it's gonna be worth worthwhile as mowing as much as we can. See in there didn't really struggle too much up that bit of a hill. Let's slow this speed right down to 20 on here. So when we go to um, dump it, I'm going to put like the auto speed thing on and dump it out at this speed. So I don't. So I will try and look at it maybe off camera. Maybe that crone. We can actually attach a trailer to it, whether we're going to attach this trailer or a different trailer, I don't know, but... It does look like we're going to attach something to it. This tractor's got 18.7 hours on it. And that is why... I guess it's costing us so much for leasing at the end of each day, because we use this guy so much. Grab this bit. Actually, might not get all of it. So we're just about full. There we go. Full already. Just 
still got plenty to get. So we've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rows plus up there and down the other side of the hill. So I'm thinking definitely at least one more. One more trailer load, maybe a bit extra after that. So I want to try not to tip as much on the field this time. Let's go. It's probably a little bit too quick, but so so. <laughs> a little bit too quick. Doesn't matter. So that um that mower made short work of this. It's annoying how they miss those little bits, but it's not too big a worry. So pick up these couple of bits here and then we'll run ahead down and finish off this other side. So this row, the next row, and there's a couple of little bits left. It's amazing how the birds change from over there to over here. It's more just a seagull, sort of, as you can hear just then, compared to over there where you don't hear them at all. It's all those other birds that, that I swear the same peekaboo, but anyway. If you can hear that, sounds like a jet or something in the background. Right, pick up these couple of little bits, then we can head back up there and get those other bits done. So I don't know if you guys would be more interested in me time-lapsing this sort of thing. You guys let me know if you'd rather see a time lapse or you'd rather see everything. No, I'm more than happy to um, just time lapse it all. Especially uh, just this sort of thing. Sort of start off five or ten minutes of me just mowing and then time lapse and then sort of come back to me at the end, whatever we're doing at the time. Still can't get all of that there. Always because that part of the ramp is a bit dodgy. Okay, get this little bit. Have to move that mower out of the way eventually. So I do like the idea though that we can't just mow anybody's grass area. We've got to actually own the land to be able to do it, which is pretty cool. When we were in like FS17 and 15 and 13 and that, you could just mow anywhere and it didn't matter. That's, I guess that's the way how you made a lot of money easily in FS17 was a silage with all the grassy areas around the fields. So you could just mow the entire map and around all the fields and even own a field and still make an absolute fortune so I'm glad they've changed it just that little bit all right how much time we got left 10 minutes I'm thinking we might um I might pause it here um, and come back at the end when we've got um, where we're going to start dumping it off and actually bought the BGA so don't go anywhere guys, we'll be back 
very, very soon. Right there, guys, we're back. So, I've already dropped off three trailer loads. Another one to go. Um, I think you guys will be just as surprised as I am how big these bloody silos actually are. We're going to have probably 180, 200,000 litres of grass into here, and it's nowhere near full. We've got 169,000. Nowhere near full, not even close. So we can just imagine how full this will get before we have to use the other one. Right, so I brought the tractor up with our leveler on the front, which is going to help me obviously level things out. Get it ready to hopefully um, blanket it. And then be able to bring that wheel loader up and um, start feeding it in. So one, uh, one other thing that I have uh, noticed is um, once you unload into here, you don't get paid for it straight away like we used to. You've got to wait till midnight now. So um, yeah, it's going to be something a little bit different. I'm going to make sure that when we push it through, we don't, which is what it's doing anyway, push it outside of the silo. I don't want that to happen. It's kind of weird that it does that. So I want it all to stay in the silo. It's, taking a, it's going to take a while to compact down to, I think. Try and push it through as far as we can. So these bits out the front here probably aren't going to um, like ferment like the rest of it will. So try and be extra careful. See, only 20% still. Just imagine how long it will take with this thing being full to level the whole thing out and have it all compacted properly. I think it'll take forever. If you guys know a better tool or a perfect tool to sort of get this level and make it much easier, let me know. Leave it in the comment section. So this tool's not too bad. I don't mind it at all, but um, I think there's probably a better one out there. I know those other ones, you can buy other ones that are a lot wider, which I've used previously. Um, FS17 and and that sort of thing, so probably go back to one of those, but this one was just the cheapest, that's why I brought it, so try and push all this in. Doesn't really want to go all the way in. There we go. Beautiful. You see the numbers going up and down too with the fill level. Um, another thing I did notice, once you put it in here, if you come back now with your forage wagon and try and pick it up, it won't be picked up as grass anymore. It's been turned into chaff, which is strange because that's not what we put in there. Obviously we put um, the grass in here, not chaff, so I don't know why it would change. Especially without us you know, fermenting anything, so... It's kind of weird. I should be most of it back in the bunker, I hope. We still might have a little bit at the front here that fortunately might not be covered. So I tried to start a little bit further in, but still with this tool, it seems like it pulls it backwards just as much as it pushes it forwards, which it shouldn't. Oh, there we go. 51%, so we're still trying to get it. We 
level and compacted. Not overly concerned about having it level, but it'd be nice to get it all compacted properly. Push those little bits in. Every time we do it, move something else. Fifty nine percent, still got a little way to go yet. We've got off just driving over it now. Drop that off because I said it's a bit of a pain. It makes things a little bit worse. We're better off just trying to run it out when we drop it in and keep it reasonably level. Try and get this up to 100%. I don't think it'll matter if we had the trailer on, if we could help compact it a little bit more or not. Still haven't got a lot of room in here, but this is so 204,000. We're nowhere near full. Can you imagine? You'd have probably like 2 million, 5 million maybe liters. Crazy how much you can actually get in here. Nearly at 80%, so not far off. The other silo or the bunker back at um, the farm down there still still fermenting. Last I seen, but it shouldn't be too far away. So what I'll do is I'll um, get this fermenting, and then we'll um, come back when we're ready to start sticking it in here which might be later on in the evening so we might be doing it in the dark so it'd be good to have floodlights again like we did in the past trailer floodlights and stuff be pretty cool come on 95 percent six only seven 98, 99, 100. All right, now let's hope and still blanket it. Boom, there we go. So there's still a bit at the front we've missed. I thought that was going to happen. All right, so what I'll do is I'll grab the trailer, I'll quickly pick that up because we can stick that in the other side. Might um start from the middle this time. The only reason why I started there was because I didn't want to have to travel too far, like backwards or forwards, with the wheel loader. There we go and see how much we can get. Not much, a thousand liters or so. So we didn't miss a massive amount, but still. Oops. Come on. There we go. Still missed a little bit. Alrighty, yeah, guys. We'll um, land it here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, as always, smash that like button. And um, leave a comment. It'll let me know you know what else you'd like to see us do. Any other ideas you've got. And um, if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed, please do so. It's been Brito. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.